Hello, in this video we will be working on an iPhone 6 Plus with unresponsive touch. So the screen does not respond to touch. Screen is badly damaged, so the first thing you would think of is that it's a bad screen. I went ahead and changed the screen, but touch is still not working. So at this point, we're going to rule this uh, to being a touch IC problem. We're going to go ahead and change the touch IC, which is located on back of the board, and hope that everything will go back to its working condition. Uh, this is a very common problem with iPhone 6 Plus. If you do drop the phone or the phone suffers from any type of twist or bend, the touch IC, which is located on the back of the board, will pull off the board, or part of it will pull off the board, which causes the screen to go unresponsive. So uh, we're going to go ahead and take care of this. And without further ado, let's get started with the repair. We got the board out. Let's take a look under the microscope. From the first look, I see something is going on with the shield that goes on top of the, that covers the ICs. Look at this, right here. So we're going to remove this shield. Where is our charging port? I just brought the charging port here. Oh, yeah. Plug our screen in. And if everything went well, the phone will turn on and touch will work. So let's see. I 
Apple sign came on and that's that's a good sign. You're always afraid that something may go wrong and the phone would stop turning on. Things like this can happen and it did happen a lot. Right, so will it work? Yes, it's working. Can you see it? So check the top part, check the sides, check this part. Just want to check all parts of the screen. Perfect, everything is working. So that's how you change the touch I see on an iPhone 6 Plus. Thank you for watching. Uh, I think tomorrow we will be doing uh, SSD replacements on an iMac uh, late 2012. And we also have a MacBook that came in yesterday. I think I will be doing some benchmarks on them just as I did with the 2010 that we posted a few days ago. Right now we have let me show you quickly. We have the 27 inch iMac that we have down on the floor. Okay, so we have one here and we will also be installing an SSD on a 2011 MacBook Pro 15 inch, this one here. I'll make a separate video for, for that one. We have a water damage MacBook Air that we need to, to fix. We have a water damage MacBook Pro that we will be fixing. This one here, uh, there's a uh, Windows problems, blue screen. We have this one over there, the hinge is broken. And we have one right over here. Screen is broken on that one. It's an LCD that's broken, not the touch. Okay, so what else do we have? We have a PlayStation 4 with a bad HDMI port. We will be doing this probably on camera too. I'll make a video on that one. We have multiple iPod Touch. This one needs uh, screen replacement. And this one needs a battery replacement. We have, actually this is already fixed. It's a screen replacement for the Apple Air 2. We have one of the, the older Asus tablets. The, the guy wants it fixed. Battery replacement on the Galaxy Tab 2. It's a very old tablet, but he still wants it fixed. We have another uh, MacBook Pro that gets extremely hot and shuts off after 15, 20 minutes. We have, this one is already done. Uh, what's wrong with this one? Uh, okay, this is already done also. So lots of things to get done. Hopefully I'll try to get as much as I can on video. So you can see how we do things here. Thank you for watching. I will see you again in the next video.